Hello and welcome to Shirley English Online Help. Today we'll be looking at an example of how a teacher can allocate their books to their students. Let's begin by opening up the Shirley portal and logging in with our teacher information. This is done by entering our email address and password that we set up. Once logged in, click the Classroom Administration tile. This will open up your default web browser to your classroom administration page. Let's begin by creating a classroom. Do this by selecting the level that you would like the classroom to be. Then enter in a classroom name. Then click the Create Classroom button. After that, you'll see a new classroom tile available. Let's go ahead and click that classroom tile. On the left, we can see how many student textbooks we have to allocate. Let's begin allocating those by clicking the Add Student button. As you can see, every time we press the Add Student button, it adds another row. You can also see that we have the availability to enter in a student name and a student email address. It's worth noting that the student email address is not a requirement. It's actually just a way that we can send the access code to the student. Let's talk a little bit about that access code. As you can see, on every row there's a student access code. This is how the students will log into the Shirley portal. This is a unique ID that can be refreshed if needed and can be sent to the students. Students are not required to have a password or an email address, just this one access code. If you need a new access code, you can click the three vertical buttons on the right of that row. This will generate a new student access code for that book. We also have the resend email button, which is how we can resend the email that shows the new student access code if you refreshed it. You can also hit the remove button, and this will remove the student book and enter it back into your inventory. On the left, you will also notice a button labeled Student Instructions. When clicked, this opens up a PDF with instructions that you can send to your students and can help you troubleshoot issues if they have problems logging in. Just below that button, we also have a button labeled Remove Classroom. This will remove all of the data that you've entered and will remove the classroom tile completely. This will send you back to the Classroom Administration page where you will be able to make that classroom again if needed. If you have any questions about this process or are experiencing issues, please contact support at shirley.com and we'll be happy to get you taken care of. Thank you and have a great day.